Hey guys, this is Mike with Open It and Play, and we're going to be looking at the VHS version Wolverine. It's a little bit old, but as I said in the previous videos, I'm just picking these up in Kansas for the first time. Ordered them a long time ago when I was still kind of new to getting into Marvel Legends again, but um, this Wolverine was one that was kind of anticipated. But uh, I just took him out of the box, but we unfortunately had some camera problems, so I'm redoing it. Okay. So here is Wolverine. You can tell he's uh, he's hindered by his massively ugly failed cell, cell shading. Excuse me. But he's even got lettering on his cell shading. That really makes it stand out bad. But yeah, I'm going to try to correct this. And um, like I said with the others, this figure is quite old. This is not the X-Men 97 newer Wolverine, which I like better. This one is the cell shaded version, which of course needs some love and attention if you want to make it look halfway good. So, but um, this Wolverine comes with a few accessories. He's got the little picture of Jean and, <laughs> Jean and Cyclops. That's cool. But, um, sorry, my camera won't focus in here. And, um, he's got these two hands, alternate hands, but they're missing the ports for his claws. So, you know, it really doesn't make much sense, unfortunately. But anyway, two expressions, kind of angry one over here and the more passive one here. This one's really passive. But he does have these cool, cool, cool wide long uh ears kind of <clears throat> but all right and um like i said i'm gonna have to give this guy some attention to take off the cell shading probably gonna be requiring breaking down the figure into some parts but um let's go over his articulation real quick he's got a disc hinge like a ball disc like usual for marvel legends and um he does have butterfly joints, so that's nice. His butterfly joints, he can't can't quite go completely across, but oh yeah, he can get pretty far. Something like that. It looks really awkward there, but let's see if I can get it closer. There, he can kind of can go for a dive. But anyway, <clears throat> his arms go around and these twist with him, so that's good. He's got double jointed pretty ugly elbows that only go up about to 90 just a little bit past that's kind of unfortunate that he can't get better than that but that's the way it is so okay and then he has a crunch and a swivel but oh my god this swivel is really tight okay my swivel is not working at all so i think i think i'm gonna have to use some hot water to get it to move because it seems to be oh it seems to be completely fused shut i've never had that quite so tight before but i'll give it some some work but uh yeah i don't think i'm gonna be able to get it for this video so wow that's tight okay and uh unfortunately you can see they put some of that nasty cell shading on the belt if they wouldn't have done that, I'd feel a little bit more confident, but when I take this off, I'm afraid the remover is going to damage the belt, which makes the belt weaker. But Okay, and then his legs, they can go up to about here and back, back just a little bit. That's better than nothing. Then he's got double jointed knees, can go back that far. Okay, and he does have the swivel at the thigh and he has this clever boot swivel where it's hidden inside that's great okay and um recommendations i would recommend getting the x-men 97 version of this figure not this one they they maybe are almost the same there's a few things that are different maybe the ears i can't remember uh so much but i think the claws on the other one are a little more stable. These uh, look like the cartoon more, but they're also really flimsy. 
So that's a drawback in my opinion. Sorry, it's not showing up there. Really thin, you can see. Boing. But anyway, um, this is a cool accessory, but yeah, if you really want him for this, then I guess this is the only way to get this accessory, I think. Or maybe it came in that really expensive uh, Cyclops and Phoenix pack, but oh, that had a Wolverine, but I, I kind of doubt it. Okay. I'll do a quick comparison side by side with Mystique. If she'll stand up, come on, Mystique. And side by side with Jubilee, another shorter member of the X Men. Whoa, if she'll stand up. And she's not standing up this time. Ah, she won't stand. I'm sorry. Gotta correct this ankle. Come on, there she goes. Okay. But yeah, they're they're not perfectly aligned, but they're pretty close there. But, okay, and the love of his life, maybe not the love of his life. He's had a few loves of his life, but uh, his latest is Jean Grey. So <clears throat> the latest in this lifetime of people. Okay, thank you for joining me this for this look at uh, Wolverine. And uh, like I said, I wouldn't recommend buying this guy. It's better to get the X-Men 97 figure. That is a better figure overall, I would say. I might be wrong. Some people might really like the head with the ears like this. But if you do, then, you know, bless your heart. Hopefully you can get it. I don't think this figure is super rare, but I'm also not positive. Some of these VHS figures are still in stock some places, but I just don't know about Wolverine. Okay, for my next video, I'm going to look at the Cyclops from X-Men 97 and compare it to the X-Men VHS Cyclops. So we've got both of them here, and it's going to be a face-off. I think this guy's going to look better in some ways, but the cell shading is going to be a drawback. But his face is going to look better than the X-Men 97 face, this like softer features uh, Cyclops. But I think this guy's pretty good. I just prefer his visor was not gold. I wish they would have kept it yellow, but this blast effect I'm looking forward to. Okay, hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me on this uh, look at the Wolverine.